there's no way that this power here actually works. The power button on this thing is loose, but you can see right there, that's where it presses down into. So let's go ahead and see if this bad boy fires up. Hey guys, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker. I'm here with another thrift store video for you guys. So here I am outside the Salvation Army. I am waiting for their half off day to begin. And there's actually quite a little bit of a crowd. There's been a little bit of a following that's formed for their uh, half off day that they have uh, weekly now. It's going to include all of the tags, but one, which is the white tags, which is their red and white tag, um, that will be excluded. They also don't do furniture when it comes to their 50% off. So headed in here and yeah, it was no white tags, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and grab a cart. I do like to just glance into the showcase. I, I didn't see anything there. The first thing I do like take a look at is this BB-8. So there are some BB-8 droids that move around and stuff that are remote control or whatever that could be pretty valuable. I don't think this one's it. I think I made a mistake on picking that one up. I'm not 100% sure. I really need to do a little bit of a deeper dive into it. But I've even flipped a couple of the BB-8s that, uh, uh, that do command some value. That was a rock band mic there. At $5, probably not for me. They have a uh, cricket here. It's 15 as is without the power cord. So if it had had the power cord, I might've looked up the bottle number or something, but I think uh, without the power cord, it just was a bridge too far for me. I did not end up with this Black & Decker or this Krups. I've never seen one of these double carafe cups or Krups coffee pots before. However, uh, no solds on the white ones. The black one had one sold and it wasn't for that much. It's pretty cool. I just uh, didn't pop on it. Didn't seem to be much of a command on eBay and that is where I sell. So, have to you know, bring the market what actually sells. So they've had all these computer towers here for a while, but I noticed on the end that there's a newer one. So I do take a look at it here. They have 999 on it. It's got an i5, 4440. <laughs> and so that's actually a pretty decent CPU from a few years ago. Eight gigabytes of RAM and all of that. So I go ahead and put it in the cart. All right, guys, so I know exactly what you're thinking right now. There's no way that this tower here actually works. And I think I agree with you. However, I have everything hooked up here. Even got a keyboard and mouse there. We know the monitor works. The power button on this thing is loose, but you can see right there, that's where it presses down into. So let's go ahead and see if this bad boy fires up. Ho, 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 ho. That's a little more than I thought it would do. It's loading. It's loading. It's working. It's working. So this is still loading. <laughs> Let's start with region. It's reset. That is gold. But we've got a factory reset computer here. US. So this is a Lenovo worth over $200 in this condition with just this little cosmetic snafu. That's not that big of a deal right there, honestly. All right, so I also grabbed a monitor here for $19.99. I think that's gonna go for about 120 ship. They give you a little bit of a pain to ship. So if you ever see a monitor box lying around, uh, go ahead and grab it off the side of the road or whatever because it's nice to have on hand for if uh, you find one of these to flip. Now there is like a $400 comp for a very similar computer, but I don't really buy into it. There's some other ones listed for around the $200 mark and you have to be careful because some of sometimes auctions come in really low and that can kind of skew things. But I think we'll get around a, maybe a little bit south of 200 on this unit, especially with the button damage on the desktop computer itself. And I think for the monitor, we'll get around 120. So it's pretty cool. Um, I do 
also find these uh, merry menstrual caroling Christmas bells, and they're worth like north of $70 there. I'm picking them up for five bucks, so an absolute score there, of course. I probably could have passed on the Lady Wilson golf balls there, but they're sealed, so I'll get something for them somewhere. So I found that this was pretty interesting. They had all these bags here. They're marked $3.99, and the gambler and me couldn't resist. It is jewelry, so it's like a jewelry mystery bag. And let's go ahead and tear into one of these and see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna open this up real quick. I'm holding the camera with one hand. Get these staples. All right. So what do we have here? Do I just dump it all out? That's probably boring. But that's what we're gonna do because there's way too much. God. So this is what $3.99 gets you. Anything of value here? Yeesh. Look, it's a cat watch. I don't think it's like anything special. That's Barona. That's a Target brand. Then... A Casio watch band. Got, oh, it takes us one hit, right? Oh, Seiko. That's cool. I have no clue what that's worth. Maybe it'll pop up on the screen. Maybe it won't. Is this a G Shock? That's uh, a G Shock wannabe. A shoe. Let me know down in the comments if you see anything that's actually good in here. So I want to clarify, I, I picked up the tower because it was $10 and I have $10 to gamble. It's not really a big deal. I wouldn't necessarily advocate for people going out and buying computer towers because you can sit on them for quite some time. I might not even get the 200. I might have to settle for less, uh, dramatically less. Who knows? And they can be uh, a kind of a pain to ship, especially... Um, from a cost standpoint. Another thing to note is there's a very high failure rate when you're purchasing something like that. Oftentimes it won't boot up, it'll be locked. I would just exercise caution when picking them up and also be very cheap when it comes to it. Oh, you f Oh, this sucks. Oh, I wish I'd not bought this now. But that's life. All right, guys, so I think it was a pretty good trip other than the uh, Lego fiasco there. I eventually got all those picked up. I purchased those in an estate sale and just neglected to get them out of my car. And there we go. So I got punished for that one. But we eventually, well, I eventually got them all back in the car. And the mystery bag, not so swell. But hey, we took a $3.99 gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, right? But the 999 gamble on that PC turned out to be pretty cool. I mean, on, honestly, worst case scenario, I have a cool working computer I could use for like anything, but yeah, not bad at all.
I want to double down on that and really say you shouldn't pay much for computer towers that you're buying randomly untested because vast majority of the time you're going to run into some sort of issue with them. It's just my experience. But I, I just felt like, hey, I can gamble $10 on this. It'd be kind of fun to uh, find out together if it worked or not. And I was fortunate enough for it to. Now that sticker on the monitor, though, ooh, that took some, uh, that took some effort to get off. Uh, I do wish they had put it off to the side on the bezel there, but yeah, we will have those up and uh, listed shortly. We've got them processed and photographed and inventoried and stuff now. But yeah, um, I really appreciate everybody coming along for the ride today. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to get out of here and try and get this video uploaded for you guys and actually hit the gym before it closes. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check me out on Instagram and TikTok at ProPickerOhio. Bye.